Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Katarina. I'm really excited to film today's video. As you can see from the title, this is going to be an update for my Panda palette. It has been a while since I have done an update to this project and you know, when I have been doing Panda palettes in the past, I have been updating once a month. However, I did film a Get Ready With Me where I explained why I took a little break. So I'm pregnant and in spring I was feeling quite horrible with the first trimester symptoms. So I just needed to take a break. So it has been three months since my last official Panda palette update. I showed you quickly in the Get Ready With Me where I am with Modern Renaissance. Not much has happened since then. That being said, there are going to be some changes to this project. First things first, the BH Cosmetics Modern Matte Eyeshadow Palette that I was panning in this project is no longer part of my collection. I was supposed to pan that palette for six months and debut it after this update. However, I was just kind of over dealing with the broken packaging and trying to force myself to use the bright shades especially. So I tried to depot it earlier this month. The result you can see here. I think it should have been an easy palette to depot. I mean, I was able to cut the plastic so that there was not much plastic where I had to remove the pans. There was no need for heat, for example. However, the shades, they were so soft and so fragile that I really was not able to depot them without them cracking and I just... In general, I don't like to repress things, so I decided to declutter the palette and the only shade that I was able to recover was the brown shade that I have been using on my brows and also I did keep the empty pants that I was able to finish. So during this year that I have been panning the palette, I actually was able to finish three eyeshadows, so I am really happy about that. So the BH Cosmetics palette no longer being part of my collection or part of this project. The Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance is now the only palette I'm panning. In fact, this pan that palette is the only project pan that I am doing at the moment. I just felt that I need to take a break from panning, but I'm so close finishing this one that I don't want to give up. Now, I can no longer create complete looks out of this palette. In fact, it has been a while since I was able to create complete looks using this. Like, basically, for the past year, this has been like a crease palette to me. So, because of that, each month I will be picking a companion palette to this palette. Maybe I could hit pan on some of the shades in the companion palette, we'll see. However, this is the only palette that I'm really focusing on and I really do want to get it used up this year. Let's look at some progress pictures. So I am going to show you a picture where I was in March when I last time have uploaded an update. I will say I filmed one update in the end of April, but I was feeling absolutely horrible in that <laughs> video and you could really tell that I'm not feeling well. And at that point I wasn't really ready to share the news about the pregnancy because it was so early. So I just decided to not upload the video, but I do have a progress picture from the end of April too. So I will first show you where I was in the end of March with my modern renaissance, then where I was in the end of April and then where I am right now. And here is what my palette is looking like right now. So pretty good progress, I would say. Okay, so first things first, Venetian Red is now gone. There was quite a bit of product in the end of March and I was able to use about half of that product by the end of April and then it was actually in May that I was able to finish Venetian Red and I don't want to touch pink eyeshadow like in a year at least. Then I was also able to make pretty good progress on Raw Sienna. So on the left side of the pan that is empty right now, I did have plenty of product in the end of March and I was able to use quite a bit of it during April. However, since the April's 
update that I did not post, I have been able to use up the lower left corner from the pan. That being said, in Red Ogre and in Realgar, I don't really have that good progress. They are just sage that I'm mostly into, you know, when summer goes a little bit on from here and also during fall time. The shades that I do have left from this palette, I feel they are really summer and fall appropriate shades. So because of that, I'm not worried about being able to finish the palette. The only thing is that I'm trying to get this palette used up before the due date. I'm due December 15th, so I wish I could finish this by then because, you know, probably during the first couple of weeks with the new baby, makeup is not going to be like a main priority of mine and even if I do some makeup, I don't think I will be, you know, wearing a lot of eyeshadow or even wanting to pan eyeshadow at that point. So. We'll see if next year, at some point after the very beginning of the year, I want to do another eyeshadow panning project. I don't think I want to aim for finishing complete palettes anymore because there has been so much hate panning with this. But shades that I enjoy, I could see myself finishing and then hitting pan on. A lot of shades would be fun, but we'll see. It's not really something I need to worry about right now. Let's talk about some goals for July before talking about my companion palette for July. So in July I would like to focus on Raw Sienna and Real Gar. I would actually really love it if I could hit side pan on both of these shades. I don't really like to use them together. I mean, you could wear them together, but I just don't think they go the best with each other. So I like to wear them on different looks. But if I could hit side pan on the right side of the pan with both of these shades, I would be so happy. So that is going to be my official goal. Red ochre, I'm not feeling quite yet. In August, I will need to start working on it because it is the shade where I do have the most product left. That being said, even though it says red ochre, it really looks like a warm, kind of like reddish brown. So it's not that red and colorful. So I don't think it's going to be too challenging. But yeah. That is where I am with this palette. Now let's talk about my companion palette for July. And the companion palette is going to be the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Eyeshadow Palette. So I was actually panning this palette for quite a while in my 30 by 30 project pan and then it was also part of this project in the beginning of the year. However, I found these update videos to be too long with the three panned palettes. And also with this palette, the monthly progress is really slow because the shades are so hardly packed. So I decided to just quit panning it. So this is what my palette looks like. I was, by the way, able to hit pan on white chocolate really recently, like a week ago or something. But I have hit some pan here. Of course, I wish I could hit more pan, but I don't know if it is realistic to do that in July. The reason I picked this palette is that July is the last month that I will be working at my current job. So I started at a new job in the end of May. That being said, after July I am going to stay home because my job is that kind of job that we need to take some extra steps to ensure that it is a safe job during pregnancy and, you know, once my belly starts to grow, it can be a little bit difficult and there are some other things to consider too. So both me and the company and my husband think that it's best if I don't continue after July. Well anyways, if I'm doing makeup for work, it is really really easy, simple eyeshadow looks at the moment where I really only use three shades. And usually those looks are all matte, so I put something to my crease slash transition area, I deepen out the look with something, and then I put like a light cream color to my lid. Or in June I have actually been wearing strawberry bonbon on my lid quite a bit, because it doesn't appear that pink. But yeah, I thought white chocolate is something I could easily wear on my lid on my everyday basis when I do eyeshadow to work. I will say if it is really really hot, in that case I don't wear eyeshadow to work because I work outside. So if it is like over 25 degrees, I just, the eyeshadow is going to crease 
no matter if I use primer or not because working all, all day the makeup is not going to stay on. So whenever it is not quite that hot I do wear eyeshadow to work. Another thing that I thought is that salted caramel will be amazing transition slash gray shade if I want to deepen the look with Realgar. And as I said Realgar is something that I do want to focus on. Of course Realgar is not super super dark shade but on everyday looks I think it is a nice darkening shade. And then I think when I'm going to wear raw sienna and if I'm going for a shimmery look, I think Creme Brulee will work amazingly on lid, as well as Hazelnut. Maybe I could also get use out of Triple Fudge here and Milk Chocolate here. But yeah, this is going to be my company palette for July, because with this one and with the Modern Renaissance, I'm able to create easy and quick looks to work. And that's my main concern in July. And by the way, today I am wearing a look using this palette and some of my singles. So from this palette today I'm wearing semi-sweet in my crease and then cherry cordial to really like deepen up the look. And also amaretto on the outer part of my lid. And then triple flush on my brows on the outer part of my brows because it's so dark. But yeah, that is everything that I have for you today. I hope I can reach my goals with Modern Renaissance by the next update. And you know, I would love to be able to hit one pan in chocolate bar, but we'll see. We'll see. I mean, if I didn't hit pan on white chocolate a week ago, I would hit pan on that, but obviously I did hit pan on that, so... Maybe milk chocolate. I think that is the most realistic one, but you know, we'll see. Anyways, that's everything for today. Thanks for watching and see you in my next one. Bye bye.